power of Sony's cell processor allows programmers to create truly immersive gameplay that was unimaginable on other consoles. The best proof of what cell and the PS3 really can do is probably that you've got dozens of dragons, sometimes hundreds of dragons, flying in the air. And you've got this complete air battle, and usually that would be about it. Now with the PS3, the crazy thing is we can at the same time have a complete real-time strategy battle with thousands of troops on the ground going on. Just like in a real battle, decisions are being made on all levels, but that does not mean one person can't affect the outcome. Down to the bridge and torch the enemy troops! The armies are fighting independent of you. The tide of battle is swaying independent of you. You can then go down and influence the tide of the battle, which is one of the key things to do, but they're shooting catapults at each other, the archers are fighting, the swordsmen are fighting against each other. There's literally 20,000 troops on the ground fighting it out. You're just one guy on one dragon. But what you do can turn the tide of battle. So at the top of the screen, you'll see a little meter, and that's your morale meter. When the player does actions that help his side's cause, his troops will get energized, and that meter will go up, and it will help you understand who's winning the battle. Keep up the assault! Um, your job is to figure out which things you want to affect which aerial battles you want to become involved in, and which ground combat you want to become involved in. So at crucial moments when you see that the morale actually drops, then you have to come up with ways to boost it again. Take out lots of dragons in one swoop, go down and actually kill the front line of the enemy's group. Basically, do gruesome things to the enemy, which would boost the morale of your troops, and in general, just figure out how that whole strategy works out from your perspective as just one guy in this huge battle. But in the end, even the most powerful tools are not enough. You need a creative, talented, and dedicated team to make the game truly great. We've been pursuing kind of this gameplay for a while now. It went from you're in the world and there's 10 other objects in the world and you do something with those 10 objects. Then it went to you're supposed to be part of an army and do something with the army, but the army really was more of a backdrop. And this time around, I think we really got to a point where you're doing something and your actions influence the outcome of a big battle, for example. So it's not just something that's happening in the background, it's also something that you are a part of. It's really pretty limitless. We're doing all of these AI features for hundreds and thousands of objects, and at the same time still have enough CPU power left that we can simulate water, physics, many, many things in real time. So the thing about working on PlayStation 3 is that you have this immense amount of power. The longer you work on it, the more you can get out of it. At some point, you have to finish your game. What we ended up doing, I think, was just about 90% of what we wanted to do in the end. We've been working on the hardware now since the first kits arrived, and we don't think we've even gotten to 50% of what this thing can do. We're very excited about the future.